Yo, what's up guys, it's Mondays here, and welcome to our new tutorial, my first tutorial <laughs> on this channel. This is for my new Lightroom, you can go buy it in the selfie store, or selfie store, wherever you want to freaking call it, I don't even know what it's called, but anyway, it's £3.50, um, go share it, and like this video, and comment, and subscribe. Whatever you want to do, it's up to you. But let's get right into it. So we're going to go into the RAW that you'll be downloading off Selfie or Selfie or wherever you want to call it. Uh, close that. And then extract to the desktop or wherever you, wherever you want to put it. So that's what you have to extract. Then you'll get this. Open that. If you don't have R16, it will come up with an error saying annotation plugin error or something like that. It's only because R16 only allows this annotation plugin and R15, R14, R13, and all those R's <laughs> don't uh, support the annotation plugin. So just ignore that. If you want to know what it all says, it has it here. Um, if you can read that, or you can go to the selfie description like, of the product and you can read it there, or I might, if I remember, I'll put it in the description of this video. So yeah, we have the Lightroom here, so you, what you want to do is just click it and you come up with the Lightroom user data. This is where you can uh, change like, all the settings for it. It's quite simple when you know what you're doing so these are all the default settings so what you're going to do is just leave it at that if you want to change it change it but don't save it afterwards just because you don't might not want to have like the settings next time what you want to do is make sure it's on editing so then you can rotate it do whatever you want in it and edit the rig then you want to go into rendering afterwards and it will switch to another camera this will be the direction you need to render in because otherwise it just won't look good. If you render it this way, like the opposite direction of this blue arrow here, it will just look awful. <laughs> so always have it in this area here. So nothing past this line here, just leave it that. So I'm just going to try and put that at the same spot. So yeah, that'll be it. And then if you just open, I don't know, a rig, this is the one I use. Um, so yeah, that'll be the thing. I've turned off all the lights, so you don't have to worry about having the shade, like the shading in it, while you're editing. Let's just delete that. So yeah, the settings. So you can hide and show the soft boxes. Um, if we look up here in the editing camera, you can see the the soft boxes. Um, I would literally leave them where they are because you might muck them up but uh yeah that's the soft boxes i would hide them before you render as well just because um they do show in the render i think i'm not too sure i don't think they are actually no never mind but it just clears out the way um so yeah that's show and hide uh the rendering editing camera obviously i've just shown you that um this is like the brightness of the soft boxes. So the cold one is on the left, the warm one is on the right, and then the behind one is up there. Um, I will leave them all to fault, but if you want to change it again, just you know, you can do whatever you want with it. You can just change it, and it will change the brightness or the color, which I'll be getting into with the lights. So the lights, I have an above one, which is white. I have. The white, the white one, uh, which is wait no, this one is the spotlight. Um, so if we go in here, this is the spotlight here. I just called it above light just so people don't get confused um, on where the spotlight is. So yeah, that's where the spotlight is. The you can change the color of it if you want. Um, this would be good for like themes or. Um, yeah, anything like that, like the like a hell theme, you can change it to red and it'll turn out to be tinted red um, in the render. And then you can go into white, I would leave it as white as it is just for the white one, 
you can change the cold one and the warm one uh, to wherever you want change the brightness of them the intensity or brightness where you want to cool it and then the other is right here I you can change it in the settings um, uh, where is it it's here if you you can change it in the settings and ambient inclusion but this is just an easier way to get to it I guess so yeah leave it at 30 30 is probably the best any more than that don't know it might make the like it might bleed the colors a bit more so I don't know if you should do that or not but you know all your you are in control you can do it if you want so yeah these are the four settings you have in the actual thing um, the best one is at the top the, the like the worst one is at the bottom but they're literally all the same guys like it just depends on your processing speed my like your computer so yeah don't bother with that it doesn't make mean anything really it's just that this is the best that's the you know good it's not like it's not the worst it's not like you know no light room at all it's just turned down a bit right so yeah, this is a bit faster but um yeah the best settings are the top one so yeah that's that's really it that's what you can do i'm just gonna render something now and i'll show you what you can do with it so yeah here we go let's just make a quick render let's just move this a bit oh yeah mm, the steve looks so sexual mm. oh yeah so good right now this is speed art without the speed oh sexual okay so we had the render go into the rendering one i would leave it um in the middle most of the time because you know it just doesn't look as best if it's at an angle of the camera Okay, so there you go, there's the render there, and let's render. So, yeah, there is a, um, a hat layer on, I can't be able to go turn it off, so, <laughs> yeah, that's really it, guys. Thanks for watching, and yeah, the render will be at the end, so you can see all the shadows and stuff. Again, the selfie link is in the description, you can go buy it there, and yeah, that's pretty much it. It's £3.50, really not that much, it's on a sale right now so it should be £5 but I'm paying it as a sale for a month. So yeah, get it while it's cheap I guess. So yeah, thanks for watching guys and subscribe, like and comment and we'll see you guys later.